For those of you that are already subscribed, I do appreciate your continued support. We'll do our best to keep churning out high quality how-to videos. Today we're going to be doing a project on my 1996 Ford Bronco. My window felts are cracked. We're going to be replacing them with these new window felts we picked up at Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. We're also going to be doing our window channel felts. So in essence, we're going to be replacing the two felts, or window sweeps as a lot of people call them. One will attach to the door body, one will attach to the top of your door panel. Then we're going to do the window track felts. We're going to pull this out. We're going to pull out the wing window because that has to come out to get the felts in. So let's get some tools and let's get started. The first step whenever you're doing a project when you're going to have your door open would be to disconnect the battery under the hood. That way your courtesy light doesn't stay on and drain your battery. We have yet to do that. For this project, the next step will be removing your door panel. I've already created a comprehensive video for that and you'll find a link in the description below. So we're going to do this off camera. We'll be right back. We've got the door panel off. My truck was actually missing the inner felt, but when we go to install it, we'll actually show you how to remove it and reinstall it. So we're going to set this aside and move on with the project. The next step will be removing your outer window felts. As you can see, mine are dry rotted and cracked, so they do need to be replaced. I like to start by just gently pulling this trim back a little bit. And as you pull it back, maybe get a screwdriver, pry it underneath. Then I'm going to start on the other end, and I'm going to grab this lip, and I'm going to start pulling out and out. And as you pull it, you are going to destroy this seal. When you have the seal out, we'll set this aside, and we'll grab the new seal. The next step will be removing your vent window. You've got two bolts up here. You've got one bolt here that hold that vent window in place. This one's obviously be behind your vapor barrier. My vapor barrier has been pulled back and taped and pulled back and taped to do a variety of projects on this door. So we're just going to peel it back. If you don't have a vapor barrier, you don't have to worry about it. But you need to pull this back to gain access to this screw and to be able to get your hand inside the door cavity to manipulate the glass. In this step, we're going to remove this 716 bolt here, and then after that, we're going to move up here to the two 7 millimeters that hold on the vent window. All right, now we're going to take and remove the vent window assembly. So you're going to grab a hold of it, pull it over at an angle, and the window channel felt will come out with it. Lift up. And then once you're about halfway out, you're going to have to rotate it 90 degrees so you can clear that bracket. Continue to pull it all the way out. And that's how you get it out. Now we're going to remove the window channel felt from the vent window. And you just pull it right out. Regarding the vent window, you can actually buy replacement seals. And I know Jeff's Bronco Graveyard sells them. These are in exceptional shape, so we're not going to be replacing them. We will, however, clean them up and put some of the black plastic or black trim dressing all over the rubber, dress them up, and get them looking good before we reinstall it. Now, to remove the rest of the seal, you're going to take the glass and pull it slightly to the side. It'll lean out of the way, and then just pull the rest of the window channel seal out, and it comes out. We're getting ready to install the window channel seal. Again, this is a seal we got from Jeff's Bronco Graveyard. It fits very well inside the channel, but it is slightly different from your OEM seal. Let's get this installed. All right, so we're going to install the new window channel seal into the vent window assembly. On your seal, you'll have one section that is at a 90 degree bend almost, and it's really obvious. So you're going to line that up with the top, and you're gonna to wanna to get it as close as you can to follow the angle there work your way down putting the seal on when you get it all the way installed you'll have a small section of it hanging out at the bottom if it's really long you've got it on backwards all right to figure out how much of the seal needs to go down into the door I'm going to roughly line it up like this so I know right about where it should be and I'm going to take and set the window channel into the door frame 
like that, just so it's not hanging around. I'm going to place it in like that, work my way down. And just continue doing that all the way down. You should have a small amount of the seal overhanging this channel at the very bottom. All right, so now we're going to get our vent window assembly installed, but first we have to align the glass into the window channel on this side. Just wanna slide it over and it should stay in place with the one side of the felt and move over to this side. And we're going to want to angle this in and position it uh, where we need it. Just make sure that when you do, you get the glass into the center of the channel and also make sure that your seals for your vent window are sitting in place properly. That way you don't have to go back and fix it later. So I'm gonna pull it part way out, get it into the glass, slide that down, make sure my seal is good, top and bottom. I'm going to loosely thread in the one bolt here just so it stays put. Then I'm going to get the two seven millimeters. Get those going. Make sure when you're installing these that you don't pinch your seal. Now I'm going to go and torque down this one here. Make sure that it's in place. All right, now we're going to finish pushing the upper part of the seal into place. And what do we do if it's too long? If it's too long, you can take and pull it down on the one side um, and it will feed itself back down into there. You might have to reach inside and pull down on it a little more, but it's not, it's not a huge deal if you have to make some small adjustments here. You just wanna make sure when you put the seal in, and it's not folded up anywhere. I want it to look good. And the first time you use the window and it pushes it up all the way, it'll smooth out any small imperfections you might have on how you've installed it. Now I'll give the window a try. That's a nice tight seal. Let's bring it back down. And now we're gonna get these door sweeps installed. Now it's time to put the new felt sweep on the door panel. I've got some cracked tabs along here as well as a missing tab here. So what we're gonna do is pop rivet this into place. In the past, when these have been broken or cracked too bad, you can take a piece or a section of a hacksaw blade, cut it down and pop rivet it behind these to reinforce it. We're not gonna do that today. We're simply gonna get this installed and pop rivet it in place. We're using three aluminum eighth inch diameter pop rivets. I'll put a link in the description below if you need to buy a set of these. I'll be drilling it with a Montana brand drill bit. We just got these from Montana. They're fantastic. They stayed sharp. We're going to use them today and I'll put a link in the description as well. Let's get to this now. So we're going to mount our sweep. Take your time because with these broken tabs, the metal from the uh, sweep will get tangled up in that plastic. So I've got this one in place. As you can see, this will always be loose. That's why we pop rivet it. So I've got it in place. I'm just gonna gently clamp it into place right here just so it doesn't move. We've got the seal compressed. It's, it's where it needs to be. So we'll take our eighth inch drill bit and we're gonna drill three holes. I do one to the outside right here. I'll do one in the middle, keeping my thumb on here just to apply a little bit of pressure. and one on the end. And we'll blow that all out. Next, we'll take our rivet and rivet gun, and real simple. Get them in there. You wanna put a lot of pressure on this. You wanna make sure that the rivet goes all the way through and, and seats properly. 
Don't crack your plastic, but get enough pressure to pinch these two together. Right there, need one more. And again, reach down, make sure you've gone all the way through. You want to make sure that it penetrates both. And the last one up here. Now you've got your new felt sweep on. It's not going anywhere. Job well done. The next step will be installing the outer window sweep. It's the one that attaches to the body of the door. You want to take the end of the sweep and kind of put it in the channel and then start feeding the tabs into the slots on the body of the door. As you get the clips installed, you want to start at the wing window and just start pushing down and locking those clips into place until you get to the very edge. You want to just push this and pull the seal out on the outer edge of this sweep. I'll probably use a tool for that and then push that down and lock that in. Double check everything. Make sure you've got everything lined up. And then we'll use a pick tool just to grab this seal and pull it out. Just like that. And while it looks like the seal is leaning in, as soon as the window goes up, the window will actually put this and position it where it needs to be in the window frame. One of the last steps will be reattaching your door panel to your door. I've already put the vapor barrier up and I hold it up with this green painter's tape. I like using it, it sticks very well, but I do clean this painted surface with alcohol to get rid of any wax or dust or grease. It sticks fairly well, or you might want to replace this all together. So the first thing I like to do is take my courtesy light and I'll actually plug that into the door. As you can see, we've swapped that over to an LED, which you can see on other videos I've made. The second thing you'll want to do is grab your switches and then feed them through the switch bezel opening in your door panel like this. Kind of get them out of the way so you can close the door. Then you'll want to grab the door handle and feed it through the door handle opening sweeps right here. I reach through with my fingers. I grab the handle and pull it in the up position and then kind of slide the door over like that. Once you've got that through, it's just a matter of getting the door over your lock, underneath your, your vent window, and make sure it clips into place. Got that in place. Go down. Now, in this example, I didn't put new Christmas trees in, so I'm not going to press this into place. We're actually going to take it back off and do a few things to this door panel. But you get the idea. You'll push it in with your pins. You'll reattach your screws, your armor screw. You'll reattach your bezel. And this project's done. Thanks for sticking around this long into the video. I hope you found it informative. We have a lot of fun making these videos. Jesse, do you have any tips on this install? Yeah, take your time when you're doing this at home. Make sure that you don't use a screwdriver to try to install the seal. Um, you're probably going to rip it if you do. When you're reinstalling the vent window assembly, make sure that the seal on the vent window goes all the way around the outside of the door skin. I want to give a shout out to Jeff's Private Graveyard for always having the products we need in stock and available. If you have any questions or concerns about this video, please put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.